That's what I got. Fish aquarium. So. I drove like a uh, 180 some odd miles. Stop here after taking driving for about three hours. I'm gonna take me a shower at a service plaza here in Ohio and continue on my little journey uh, to Long Island, New York. I had to drive through some fog. You probably seen that in a video earlier. But um, down at the bottom of the screen, if you turn the thing sideways and you uh, Look down at the bottom where it says subscribe. You press that little button for me and let me know that, uh, that you enjoy these videos and hit that little notification bell too so I, we can make these videos more for you guys. Um, we're at like 312 subscribers. We get up to uh, 317. I'm gonna do a giveaway. So, a giveaway video and everything. So, just guys know.
We made it to Brentwood. Trucks in the dock. Haha, <laughs> yay. Yeah. This pet supply place. But, seeing what's going on. They've already got me unloaded. Um, I know there is one broken fish tank on there, but the guy's taking it off. I think they may have broke it. But, they want me to take and uh, move the truck out in the lot. So, so it's going to be a minute before I can get my paperwork. I'm gonna pull my pin, pull the truck up, slide my hand in, and see how long it's gonna be until he gives me my paperwork. Oh, that's what the plan is right now. And it makes things difficult when people don't back their truck in, right? That's why I'm a professional. See? Guys over the line. It's all right.
Well, I'm down here in Avondale, New Jersey, and uh, I got to set up a bulkhead in the trailer. So the way we set up a bulkhead without load bars is um, we got to put straps in the trailer and then take and put plywood up in the none of this. So I'm getting those big old bags right there. That's what I'm getting. These little things. Right there. And two ton bags of crap. But what I had to do here is put two straps up in the nose of the trailer right here at five foot. That's what the five foot mark is right here. So see they're tight. So here's your five foot from bulkhead. And then I gotta take these two pieces of plywood that I have over here. It's kinda hard to see back here. But I got these two pieces of plywood right here. I'm gonna go set those up. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, now I got my plywood leaned up against my straps back here. You can see them. And they just are leaning up kind of like, like a lean to. But that's what the back of the trailer is going to look like when he decides to start loading it. I guess he's on lunch right now. So fun for me. I don't have a lot of time left. I got four hours. It's going to take him an hour to load this damn thing. So I'll have to figure it out. But I guess I gotta go out to the truck and go make me something for lunch. Yay for me. Because this guy's gonna take him an hour of lunch because he's eating, you know. So, fun for me. I only got a one o'clock appointment. That's in another half hour. So, hopefully, he'll be out here in 30 minutes to, or less to start loading me. Alright, people, what that stuff there is is silicone gel powder. It's beer stabilizer for beer. They uh, put that in your beer and you drink that shit. That's a little, little packet things that you find in your beef jerky and in your shoes, but it's ground down. That's what that is. <laughs> 